Welcome, Crosspoint. I love you. May the Lord bless you richly. And again, Happy New Year 2018. This is the year that God has set before us. There are still mountains to climb and there are still rivers to cross. And this is our season like never before. I felt, I felt such a joy in my spirit in the new year. And I still feel that passion rising within me with great expectation. Faith is increasing because we have come this year to grab what God has set before us. This is a year like no other. We have entitled this year by divine inspiration, Grace Revolution. Grace revolution because we have set our eyes on God and we know the thing that he has promised us will not come to pass by might nor by power, but by the spirit of the Lord God Almighty. There are still river to cross. There is still mountain to climb. There is still possessing territories. There is still promises to take on. And I don't know, you are probably like me. I have great expectation in this year, 2018. I'm expecting a turnaround from the Lord God at the every level of my life and I know the same it is for you and those things we don't have time and therefore we have inquired of the supernatural grace of God to come and do only what he can do praise the Lord we spoke in the New Year's Eve about the life of Zechariah or Zechariah was chosen by divine arrangement let me say it that way. By divine arrangement, they cast lot and the lot fell upon him. By divine arrangement, he was chosen. And I believe the same grace that was available to bring forth Zechariah in the Holy of Holies out of thousands of priests. The same grace is available unto us even in a greater measure to be able to bring forth our time and our turn. Because when the turn of a man or a woman has arise, nothing can stop it. I believe this for me. I believe that for you. I believe that for my family. I'm believing that for your family. I'm believing that for cross point. Hallelujah. That our turn has come to possess our promises and to see fulfillment into everything God has said before us. That's what is exciting me so passionately. Because when man is tired, God come and take over. And that's what we've seen in Zechariah chapter 4, verse 6 to 7. It will not be done by might nor by power. It will not be done by intellect. It will not be done by our credential it will be done by the spirit of the living God hallelujah I can hear a shout of grace grace unto it coming this is our portion this year and don't miss it don't miss it open your heart widely put your expectation on God and know the grace of God is much available to fulfill what he has said before us you know before the the time of Zechariah arrived there was 400 years of silence between Malachi and Matthew and Luke, there was 400 years of silence where God went silent, not speaking to his prophet or doing anything uh, uh, to be marked in the scriptures. And he came to break the silence. And I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that the silence breaker by grace has come to break the silence and pull you out out of the place of forgottenness, out of the place of rejection, out of the place where you've been muted. Somebody will recover the prophetic voice in this season because God has broken the silence in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And though we see that Zechariah went mute, he couldn't speak. His voice was quenched so that John the Baptist will recover the voice of his father. I believe we're in a season where we'll recover the lost voices of the generation past so we can have an amplification of our prophetic voice. I, somebody's really hearing what I'm saying. I say we will access by grace an amplification of our prophetic voice. We'll be able to recover what the other past generation has hoped for but never seen. We are that generation and in 2018, I am not going to recover only what God has promised me, but I'm going to recover what God has promised to past generation that they have hoped for but never touch it. We will touch what they have hoped for. We will fulfill what they are dream for in the name of Jesus Christ. That's what revolution of grace is able to do. That's 
that's what the power of that revolution is able to bring forth. So to have the upper hand and to outrun and to redeem time in this season like never before. Oh, I feel excited in my spirit. And I know there's at least few people there who are excited as well in their spirit. Because spirit speak to spirit. Words speak to word. Destiny speak to destiny. Purpose speak to third purpose. Hallelujah. That's why I sense in my spirit. John was called John. Because John means grace. And that grace recover his voice. That grace prepared the way for Jesus. Hear this. This is what the year is. And this has been pro, uh, confirmed by the prophet and prophetesses of our own house. And I want you to hear this very carefully. John was named John. Not after his father Zechariah. He was named John because there was a change of system. When there is a change of system, there is a change of anointing. And that is introduced only by grace. He was called John, meaning grace, to prepare the way for Jesus. Jesus means salvation. Are you catching me? So we have grace preparing the way for salvation. And therefore, we believe in this year, 2018, because of the much more grace that has been poured out upon his church and his people, grace will be so abundant, we will prepare the way for salvation. In other words, we will have an evangelistic anointing that will come upon us with such a measure that soul will come to the knowledge of God. Angel will back us up and minister and inspire us. The Holy Ghost will minister and inspire us. We will have a demonstration of prophetic evangelism, soul being saved, the lost return to the cross, hallelujah, the backslidden returning to the cross, and it's you and I, brothers and sisters, that God will use, and that grace will be available. I will talk about it a little bit later. This is so amazing. Catch me. When the angel spoke to Zachariah and said, Zaki, God, I've heard your prayers will fulfill. Zachariah did not believe. And the angel said, you did not believe. I'm going to remove your voice. Listen to me. Even though he didn't believe, he still received the promise. This is mind bubbling. That's what grace does. Because of the impact of grace upon the life of this man, though he did not believe, God in his gracious heart still brought the fulfillment of the promise. Brothers and sisters, there is places when I look at the vision God has set before us as a church and as an organization, as a ministry, as an apostolic identity, it is overwhelming. It is very overwhelming. Sometimes you feel like, my God, how this can come to pass? You, you start feeling, no, 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 I become an unbeliever because the size of the vision is overwhelming. You look at the resources that will be needed is overwhelming. Yet I have come to be encouraged like Zachariah. To know even though it is overwhelming and sometimes I don't believe it because it's too big for me, grace still comes forth to bring it to pass so that it will not be by might, not by power or by my resources, by my ability or by yours, but by the Spirit of the Lord. That's where God receives all the praise. He receives all the glory so we can testify to our children. This was done not because of might. It was the Spirit of the Lord. We've seen grace manifested in our own eyes. That's why those churches were able to rise from the ground and become so mighty. That's why these businesses was able to, to rise from nowhere and become so impactful. That's why this project was able to come forth and become so amazingly known. It was not by might. It was by the power of God. It was the spirit of grace, hallelujah, that has empowered us to do so much more. You remember what Paul himself said in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 10. He said, I am what I am by the grace of God. And the grace of God has not shown itself to be without effect. That I produce more than all of them. Why? Not because of me, but because of the grace. You know, when grace comes upon you, it empowers you to produce and to do the impossible. And that's what we are believing for this year. Is there anybody there in the house who can lift up their hand and say, I believe? Come on, somebody lift up your hand and say, I believe. You know, it was spoken. He said to Mary, Mary, because you have believed and not doubted what God has said, he surely will bring it to pass. Hallelujah. There's somebody there in this house who's feeling something moving in their stomach. There's somebody there who's feeling the spirit moving in their, in their mind, in their heart. You are coming just in agreement. Hallelujah. A miracle is taking place. A conception is taking place because grace revolution has come to you and I to do what you and I 
all put together, we could not do it. Hallelujah. You know, when God is about to do something amazing, he bring a change of system as I was speaking. He removed the old system that was regulated by laws. He removed those things because it was laws and regulations and rules. He removed it and brought the spirit of grace that gave a voice to the one who called from the wilderness, prepare ye the way for the Lord. Praise the Lord. Luke chapter 1 verse 34. When the angels show up now, six months later, later, the angels show up now to Mary. And he told Mary, you will conceive a son. You will conceive a son and you will call him Jesus. Watch this. Mary said, how will this happen to me since I am a virgin? Mary consecrated on her inability and what does not qualify her. She said, I have no credential in this area. I have no experience in this area. I have no resources in this area. I didn't study in this area. I never done it, never been there. How can this happen? The Holy Ghost was speaking from the perspective of God, not from the perspective of humanity and the earth. You see, in this season, be ready. God will speak stuff to you that your mind will read and refuse to agree with it because his mind bubbling, his mind blowing. He tells the virgin, you will have a child. And this virgin never knew a man. And she said, listen, um, I'm a human being here. I'm a young girl. How will this happen since since I don't have it together, since I don't have the backup, since I don't have the resources, since I'm not educated enough, since I have no support. You understand? She focused on the fact of things she doesn't have. But the answer was so amazing. In verse 35, he said, the Holy Ghost will come upon you. Harabashi karababa. If somebody is feeling what I'm saying, in number one, in this season of grace revolution, it is not about your credential or what you can bring forth. Just open up and be willing and rest and let the Holy Ghost take over. There are some stuff you are struggling with today. It cannot change because you try and try and try. You've been doing this forever. And so relax and say, Holy Ghost, this is great revolution. Take over my life. Hallelujah. You can do the impossible. I just come in agreement with your word. Let it be so according to your word. That's what Mary said. Let it be so. Yes, yes, I'm talking about this business that you have in your stomach that you've been dreaming about and you don't even see in which way it's going to come to pass. If today you can just confess and come in agreement with the Holy Ghost and say, let it be so according to your word. I don't see how it's going to happen. I don't know how resources will come in. I don't know how my partner she will show up. I don't know how my support will come. But Lord, I know one thing in this great revolution era, in this great revolution anointing, in this great revolution atmosphere, let it be so according to your word. Lord, let it be so. I'm not trying to look at the expertise and the experiences and what Google say and what other people say. I just choose like a humble virgin child like Mary. Let it be so according to your word. Praise the Lord. You know, Mary means bitterness. People receive name based on the circumstances of their birth. They call her bitterness probably because there was a problem in their family, probably because of, uh, of the fact that she was born in a very difficult condition. That was the label of her past. But grace does not care. Uh, let me say this. Grace doesn't get a rip about your background. Grace doesn't get a rip about which family you're from. Nobody might know where you are from. Nobody knows your family. Probably there was never a, somebody special in your family. There was nobody to be remembered in your family line. Hallelujah. There was bitterness. There was fighting. Your story cannot be even told because it's so messy and so broken to pieces. There's nothing glorious about it. But yet... Grace chose you. So I want to encourage you today. Even though nobody knows the village where you were born and where you come from and the city where you come from and nobody knows the name of your father or your grandfather, Grace has selected you. And in this year, Grace is coming upon you regardless of your background because Grace does not care about what men care about. Grace is unfair. Grace look at the perspective of heaven. It does not look at the perspective of man and earth. Hallelujah. 
hallelujah. If somebody is feeling encouraged, that grace can choose you, even though nobody knows your name. That's what happened to, to her, to Mary. Her label of bitterness was removed because grace came in. And therefore she spoke and said, Mary, favored one. You are favored among many women. My God, how can you choose a bitter woman who have gone into such a turmoil, but yet grace come and uplift her from the Mary clay and set her feet upon the rock. Hallelujah. Am I speaking to somebody in the house? I am getting excited. I feel like we will achieve what we never thought we could achieve in 2018. Praise the Lord. Grace bypassed her story. Grace bypassed the opinion of people. Grace bypassed everything that was pulling her behind and uplifted her to make her favored among all other women. Praise the Lord. Look at what grace can do. This revolution of grace, brothers and sisters, I feel like I can moonwalk. It's powerful. In Luke chapter 1, verse 35, the Bible says this. It said, people used to say she was barren, but now she has conceived and brought forth a son. Talking about Elizabeth, the mother of John. People used to say to her, you see, when grace come upon your life, in this revolution, people relate to you from past perspective. Let's me. People relate to you from past perspective. They say, this guy used to be poor. That means you are no longer. Because grace has shifted your status. This person used to have no job. He was jobless. That means now you have a job and you have favor with your boss because you used to be. They said, this is the one people used to say she was barren. It was a past status. That's why grace has the capacity to reverse that status and give you a new status in this 2018. So people will say this woman was barren. For many years she has no child. That means what? Grace revolution has given you a child in 2018. And therefore they will pass. They speak about you from past perspective. Are you hearing me? What people have been speaking about you, it's about to change because God will give you a new status. Why? Because of the grace that is available. She was barren, but no longer she was barren. Hallelujah. You know, grace is available this year. And we're going to pray this thing. I pray, I pray this thing and I'm going to pray it upon you by the end of this short time. Mary was the cousin of Elizabeth. Elizabeth was conceived, conceived John. Mary conceived six months later. God brought now Mary to meet with Elizabeth. I call that grace connection. Grace connection. Great connection so that destinies can be fulfilled. You know, brothers and sisters, stop trying to look around to find the partners that you think you need. Without this person, I can make it. Uh, without this one, I can make it. It's a lie. Let grace select your partners for you. Hallelujah. Among all the thousand women that have experienced that were already conceived and have children, God connected Mary and Elizabeth. It's called grace connection. And I will prophesy at the end of this time that God will bring the right people in your life. When they greet one another, the vision within them jump with joy. Praise the Lord. Not this bunch of people that you share the vision with them and your vision is dying within. They are jealous. They are your opposite. God is separating you by grace from all this nonsense to connect you to the right people who will feed your vision and push you to birth it and bring it to pass. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God is so powerful in our midst. Luke chapter 1 verse 45, 44 said, When I heard your greeting, the baby in my womb jumped with joy. When she heard the greeting, the baby in her womb jumped with joy. You know, there are people, you will shake your business partner. When you shake their hand and greet one another, you will feel your vision jump within. And this person may not look like the person you will have selected or chosen. Let grace recruit for you. Let grace recruit for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Because grace knows vision. Grace birth vision. Grace understand vision. And grace knows the right person in this season. 2018 divine connection. 2018 divine connection because of the presence of this grace. It will be so overwhelming. God will connect you with people beyond your specs. 
beyond your realm of influence. It will connect you with people you don't even think these people could have ever been a part of your life. Let grace work for you. Let grace recruit for you. Let grace connect you in the name of Jesus Christ. Here is the other thing grace is bringing upon us in this time. It is the spirit of grace and supplication. Like in Zechariah chapter 12, verse 10. I will pour out on the house of David, Maraba Shite Kereyaba. I will pour out on the house of Cross Point a spirit of grace and supplication. I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, this thing, some of you are struggling to pray, to enter to a dimension of prayer, to enter to a dimension of prophetic intercession, to enter to a dimension of declaration. Hey, stop walking. There will be an outpouring by the spirit of grace and supplication. He said you will weep like a mother who have lost her only child, who have lost her only son. That's what's going to happen. That spirit will be poured out upon us and I've seen in the vision of the Lord like a rain. Everybody will be where young people, women, men, all. It will bypass your culture. It will bypass your style. It will bypass your experiences. You will wake up in the night with a new tongue. You will wake up in the night with a new melody. You will drive in the car and prophesy and see vision. You will stand in your office and begin to have inspiration openness in the Holy Ghost realm Arabo Sikataya and you will begin to intercede for souls begin to intercede for the sick you begin to intercede for the purpose and the will of God for business for ideas for the ministry I mean you will tap in higher heights intercession get ready you've been doing a phenomenal job and i can feel that you are praying like never before i mean this is powerful i sense it but god gonna pour a double portion of the spirit of grace and supplication open the house open cross point from the young people open the all open the women who will rise up and will pray with passion and zeal to bring forth the will of god into the earth marakashi Baba. That grace will be available unto us as well. In the 2018, brothers and sisters, stop thinking you're a part of the crowd because grace will distinguish you. Like it did with Esther in chapter 2, verse 17. Grace distinguished Esther. Here's the word they said, above all, more than all, instead of. 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 These are the three expressions of grace when it wants to distinguish you. Esther was chosen above all. She has grace and favor more than all. And she was chosen instead of. Marabo si katarabayanda. No matter where you're standing, you cannot be lost in the crowd any longer. Let me tell you. You won't be lost in your job place any longer. You will not be lost on the marketplace any longer. You will not be lost in this kingdom any longer. Because you will be chosen above all. More than all. And instead of. That's what's going to happen. This is your portion. And you receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not be a lost piece somewhere there. You will not be a lost name somewhere there. God will select you. God will choose you. God will distinguish you like he did for Esther, like he did for Daniel. You will be chosen and you will be preferred in the name of Jesus Christ. Grace is powerful, brothers and sisters. It is the empowering power of God to do his will. It is that we are standing on in cross point. And that's what we're going to see come to pass in this season more than anything else. So right now, I will ask everybody, wherever you are, stand up on your feet right now. Stand up on your feet in the presence of the Lord. Because the Bible say in Luke chapter 1 that blessed are you Mary because you have believed what God say he will do. Harabashita Kayaba. Blessed are you. You are already blessed just because you have believed what God say he will do. And we will receive it like Mary. Let it be so according to your will. But for us, we will say it with an amen. Meaning, let it be so according to your will. Let it be so according to your will. We will receive with an amen. This is not just a repetition. It is a devotion and expression of faith from within. Harabo Sakatakaya. Because we will believe what the word of God will say upon our life. I want you to stand up. And I want you right now to just lift up your hand. In the place of reception at that moment. Open your 
mouth and begin to thank him in advance as you're preparing the ground of your heart. If you speak in tongue, begin to murmur, begin to speak in the spirit, begin to pray in the spirit, pray in your favorite language, pray in your mother tongue, pray in any tongue that you're comfortable with in this place, like you're watering the ground of your heart because God is in our midst and we are declaring that under this commission of grace revolution, everything is possible and therefore as I prophesy and speak for this counsel upon your life, I want you to receive with the greatest amen in your heart as an agreement to what is being spoken upon you and upon your family. This is the first Sunday of the year, my brother and sister. The way we start this thing, it will dictate how we will continue and it will dictate how we're going to finish it. I don't want you to worry about your neighbor. I don't want you to worry about anything. I want you to just drop yourself and allow this atmosphere of the presence of God to shower and over, overshadow you. The Bible said, when Mary said, ah, this will happen, he said, the Holy Ghost will come upon you. It will overshadow you. Let the Holy Ghost overshadow you in this moment. I want you just to be standing in his presence and know how much he loves you and know how much he cares for you and know how much he wants to bless you. And I start right now and I want you to receive with an amen. According to the word of God, based on what God you have dropped in my spirit that I've shared with you, your people by the authority under this commission in this new year of 2018 under the grace under this commission of revolution of grace i stand here as your priest in this house standing anointed powerful because you are in me and lord i declare by the authority that is the name of jesus as far as we are concerned and for every family in this place anyone that have gone his voice being stolen i prophesy that you shall recover your prophetic voice in the name of jesus christ somebody receive with a bigger amen i say you shall recover your prophetic voice in the name of jesus every Everywhere they have put you and hid you so you can be noticed, you cannot be noticed. I break you out of the box in the name of Jesus Christ. I say I bring you out of the box in the name of Jesus Christ. I pull you out of the darkness in the name of Jesus Christ. I break every veil that I've hidden and cover you in the name of Jesus Christ. I bring you forth to the light in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I prophesy a watershed moment in your life. I prophesy that your time has come in the name of of Jesus. Your time has arrived in the name of Jesus. Your healing has arrived in the name of Jesus. Your breakthrough has come in the name of Jesus. It is the time for your family in the name of Jesus. I prophesy salvation for your children in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Even at this time, I call open Alex right now. Anybody there? Alex, just run in the front. Right now, I want you, you will take over me here and we begin to prophesy. I pray that your children will come to the light in the name of Jesus Christ. The salvation will come to manifest in this year 2018 in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth receive in Jesus name I prophesy a change of system I destroy every old foundation I destroy every old system any religiosity and anything that is holding you back be destroyed today in the name of Jesus Christ I introduce a platform of grace upon your life grace upon your children grace in your business grace upon your ministry in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth the will of God should surely come to pass we release a portion of the holy ghost to begin to bring forth the impossibilities from the realm of the spirit in the realm of the physical making it possible today in the name of jesus christ i break every label upon your life in jesus mighty name all label i break in the name of jesus christ people will say this one used to that is your portion in jesus name receive a new status in the name of jesus receive a new status in the name of Jesus. Receive a new testimony. Receive it in Jesus' mighty name. I open the womb of barrenness. I open your womb of barrenness. Intellectual barrenness. Be open in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I brought your womb of wisdom. Be open in the name of Jesus. Insight. Be open in the name of Jesus. The womb of the spirit. Be open in the name of Jesus. Your physical womb. Be open in the name of Jesus. I declare a harvest over your life this season. In Jesus name. It will not be by might nor by power. But by the spirit of the Lord. Harvest upon you. You've sown enough. I see the crop coming out of the ground. It is your portion today. Receive it. In Jesus mighty name. Amazing harvest. 
rich harvest, increasing harvest upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I pray for the spirit of grace and supplication, Marakati Kiriya Bagadashta, to be poured upon you that like a mother you will cry and with compassion a new zeal, a new dimension of prayer open your life in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Receive in Jesus' name. Come on, take over and run with this for me in Jesus' mighty name. Alex, run with this for me in Jesus' mighty name. Receive it with a shout of amen. Receive it with a shout of glory receive your grace uh, receive your portion receive it receive it this evening shout hallelujah shout hallelujah shout hallelujah receive your portion receive your grace uh, receive it receive it receive it receive it receive it in the mighty name of Jesus receive it in the mighty name of Jesus receive it I want us to shout grace five times I want us to shout grace five times okay Grace one, two, three, four, five. Shout hallelujah! Shout hallelujah! 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 This is the year of grace. This is the season of grace. As our father was speaking, I remembered the word that came in for Mephibosheth. It says, Is there anybody left? Is there anybody left in Crosspoint? Is there anybody left? I know you're hidden somewhere. I know you're lost somewhere, but is there anybody left in the house of Crosspoint that I can bless, that I can touch, that I can remove from the merry clay, that I can expand my territory with, that I can deliver a promise for? Is there anybody left in Crosspoint? You know where Mephibosheth was? It's called Lodabar. And Lodabar means place of no word, no communication. So as Apostle said, communication, your prophetic voice is about to come back. You're about to be restored. A word is coming from the palace and they're going to say, please come join me because that's not where you belong. That's not where you belong. You know, when he was young, he was carried on the back. He couldn't walk. He was carried on the back and the maid stumbled and fell. And he broke his spine and he could no longer walk. Some of us have been trapped by circumstances that were not our own. Somebody carried you. Something happened and you fell and you lost your momentum. You lost your motion. You're stuck somewhere. No legs, no nothing. No voice and you're just stuck there. But today, a word from the king of David is about to come. And is about to say, is there anybody left? In Crosspoint, is there anybody left? Come on, shout hallelujah. I am left. I am the one who is left. I am the remnant that you're supposed to bless. I am the remnant that you're supposed to restore. I am the remnant that you're supposed to honor. Mephibosheth came back and he said, I am just a dog. But the king said to him, no, you will inherit. An animal cannot inherit. But he restored his status and told him, you are no longer who you used to be. As apostle said, I give you the authority and I give you the mandate. I give you what was lost before and I impart it upon you. And even what you lost before, I'm going to add more to it. Meaning that you inherited his grandfather's wealth, his father's wealth. And above all, he was always at the seat of the king. He always ate at the foot of the king of the table. He always had a meal. He always had an open place. And above that, he even got married. And he had Micah, his son. Meaning he had somebody to carry his testimony for him. He didn't have anybody else. But when he got married, somebody said, you know what? I will carry your testimony for you. This history is not dying with you. This history is going with a son. So today, we will declare that somebody is recovering their voice. Somebody is recovering their honor. Somebody is recovering the prophetic voice. Somebody is having somebody to give them a testimony. You will write home about this. You will tell people, do you know who I am? Do you know the history that I've been through? 
Do you know where he pulled me from? And the people that were around you will testify also. Your children will testify. Your children's children will testify. And say, did you know Sister Juliet, Pastor Juliet preached. She served the Lord God Almighty. She did amazing work. She served the Lord in her generation. They will say about you, evangelist. They will say, do you know he ministered to the prisons? Do you know how many places he went? Do you know how many things he did? Come on. I want you to receive it with an amen. Shout amen. Shout amen. Receive your grace. Receive your restoration. Receive your honor. Receive your testimony. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. You must receive this word. You must receive this word. You must receive this word. Shaka taka tere Wherever you are, begin to open your mouth and prophesy. Prophesize over your situation. Speak over the life of your children. If your children are here, bring them close to you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have heard the spirit of grace. This morning, receive it, receive it. Speak over your life. Speak over your ministry. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. This morning, it is a platform of grace. Grace revolution things it shall not remain the same as it has been mahandiri akabande kasatoli akabende en nakamara babende kasatoli akashatoli in the mighty name of jesus speak over your life speak over your businesses speak over oh because what will take you 5 years to accomplish oh by grace revolution you will do that this year this year you will do it May that grace come upon you. It's a spirit. May it come upon you. May it come upon you. May it come upon you. Mahanta siyakato yebe bendere anda masakori akandiria mendere bebere basuka toya baba. I want you to begin to pray. Pray over your husband. Pray over your wife. Pray over your children. In the mighty name of Jesus, that this season of grace, this season of revolution oh you will receive your portion mahatashi akote yebe berebe mahandiri asakato yeba bandiria masata yandiri akabaka yabaka yababa masotere berebe what belongs to you in the year 2018 you will possess it you will possess it you will possess it you will possess it oh receive grace every feeble knees every weak Mahata satara baba la baba 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 raka tole baba. If you have your children with you, if you have your children with you, lay hands on your children. Lay hands on your children. If your husband or your wife beside you, hold hands. Begin to hold hands and begin to pray that this season of grace, there's a spirit that is awake. There's a spirit that is awake. Iya hatashi akole bebere bo sandiri ya halaba mahaturi baso tere baba. Receive, receive, receive. Grace, receive grace. Supplication. The spirit of prayer may it come upon your family. May it come upon your ministry. May it come upon your family. Speak over your house. Speak over your children. Speak over your wife. Speak over your husband. Speak over your grandchildren. Oh, it's a it's a season of grace. It's a season of grace. Grace revolution. Yakabaka shitara berebe. Inda la masuka ba yandiri yasakato ya babande. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, 2017 is gone. We are in 2018. A year of acceleration. A year of grace, uh, you will achieve uh, what would take somebody five years. Uh, you will achieve that this year. You will achieve that this year. Yahaba Berebo, Sako Yakaloba Benderia Saturia Mahandiria Saterebe. Receive the spirit of supplication. The spirit of supplication. 
This year, your house shall be called a house of prayer. This year, your house shall be called the house of prayer. This year, may the spirit of prayer capture you. This year, may the spirit of prayer oh, revive you. Revive you. May your life be a life of prayer. Mahashatoya bebendere. Mabendere, mabendere, mabendere be. Kebe, 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 kebe he. Mahandiri asakola bakaya babere be he. Masokaya babendiri asikituri bahande. In the mighty name of Jesus, this year I speak over your life, every weak thing in your life, because of grace, receive oh, a supernatural encounter, a supernatural breakthrough, a supernatural favor. May the favor of the Lord locate you wherever you are. In the mighty name of Jesus, Yakotashi Yakole Mekelebe Bende, Li Mahandiri Asikatole Baba. Oria kaba bendere bo shato, raka kaka baki alo, mahani ribe si baterebe, mekeli baka baki atole bo si talebe, makani yandi ria sato, kaya ba bere bere be, liki ba kara ba bere be, lusha kuri ba bere 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 be, kuli ba bala 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 ba, bere 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 be, zuka bandi ria sako, katuli ba bala ba, katala ba bere be. At this moment, we want to do something prophetic. We want to do something prophetic. Dr. Kwak is going to blow this over five times. And after that, we will declare and, and I will pray to establish some things. This is the first Sunday of the year. Apostle said, how you begin with the term, how you will finish. And so... I want everybody to close their eyes as at the clock close. In the name of Jesus. Father, this morning, according to the apostolic mandate, the grace revolution. Father, we speak over your people for supplication. The spirit of supplication, may it touch every home. That every feeble knee will receive strength to accelerate. Now may the Lord empower you. May the Lord release wisdom over you. May the Lord release divine favor, divine connection, divine healing. That sickness that is torturing you, that is slowing you down, in the name of Jesus, I cast the sickness and I call my healing over your physical body. May the Lord anoint your lips that whenever you open your mouth, mysteries, divine mysteries will flow. Upon this Sunday, being the beginning of a new year, May you begin to see new things. Whatever the, the enemy has trapped your mind in of the past, this morning, receive fresh anointing. Receive fresh grace. Grace to accelerate. Grace to possess. Grace to conquer. Grace to overtake. Grace! Let it be your portion. May the things that haunted you Hunt you no more. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Put your hands together for the Lord.
Our apostle has an announcement. After the announcement, the music team will give us powerful songs. And if you're here, listen, it's the beginning of a new, a new move. A new Sunday is a new day. Don't think about the things of the past. I want you to dance like you have never danced before. So let's just have a seat for a moment. And Apostle will give us some announcement. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Cross point. Are you feeling this grace wave? So powerful, so overwhelming, so strong, so gentle, but yet so pure. That's what the waves where we are swimming right now. It's a revolution of grace. Listen to me. I don't want to make this thing pass. This is spontaneous Holy Ghost. I told you the old platforms. And sometimes we got to shift things quickly according to his guidance and ministry. And so Saturday the 20th, Mark, this date. Saturday the 20th, 20 zero. Saturday the 20th. From 3 o'clock p.m. to 8 p.m. From 3 to 8. Five hours. Five. I like this number now because five is the number of grace. Praise the Lord. That was not planned, by the way. But from 3 to 8. Five hours. I want to invite you. Anyone. Listen to me. Eden, right now. You are at the church right now. I'm speaking to you. If you do not speak in tongues, in other words, being baptized in the Holy Ghost, evidenced by speaking in tongues. You, 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 you don't speak in tongues, or you spoke in tongues and you stop speaking in tongues, or you, you want to understand what it's all about. Please, right now, I want you to lift up your hand. I want you to lift up, lift up your hand. I want you to say, I want to see you, and sure, I want to see you. You know there's no distance in the spirit. I feel connected. When I get in this mode, I am not locked by the place where I am. It's like I'm everywhere because that's what the Holy Ghost does. So please lift up your hand. Can you stand up on your feet, please? It will be so appreciated. Amen. And this season, just stand up on your feet, regardless from 12 years, 10 years up, anybody who do not speak in tongues, baptized in the Holy Ghost, want to understand a little bit more about it, uh, Please stand up on your feet because this spirit of grace and supplication is available and we don't want anybody to miss it. So I, I want you to stand up on your feet, all right? And um, as we are doing so, as they are standing on your feet, if I'm going to can have a few people just picking up their names and phone numbers, extremely important. I want to know how many of you will be there. So I arrange my teaching accordingly because we're going to cover different things. Uh, so that's the first portion we would like to to, to bring you to understand what is, is the baptism of the Holy Ghost and will pray and believe you will receive your portion, praise God, giving you answers and so on. But that day also, listen to me, I, I want to extend this to any man and woman who believe they have a five-fold ministry call in their lives. So they are already in the five-fold ministry or they are believing God is calling them to that dimension. Even though, even if it's not a full-time, five-fold ministry, uh, just in ministry, in ministry. I, I want to teach about a lot of things that day. Because where we are going right now, the Holy Ghost is moving. And therefore, we need to be trained. All right? We need to be prepared. Because there's one thing that can kill the move of God, and sometimes is the lack of preparation. And so, I want to do my responsibility as your leader to bring you a training, in other words, things that I know that I excel at because God has graced me and I have learned. I want to deposit and I want to transfer that wisdom to you, all right? Uh, how to minister, how to give a prophetic word, how to know we have a word to share, how do you know if that word is just for you or for the congregation, and how to bring it forth and do it properly because that's the important. It's not just the bringing forth. The way you deliver is important. It, all right, so I wanted to take time to teach about those things. This is extremely important, you know. Pulpit management, you know, when you you want to minister on the pulpit, what to do, what not to do. How do you connect with the people? How do you release the word properly? Listen to me. Jesus is coming soon, and we get a trend. We get a trend. I, I will use even a, a better word. I have to impart. 
the experience and the grace and the anointing I have, brothers and sisters, I need to give it to you so you can do things properly. And so I'm extending this to leaders and I'm extending this to people who are in the fivefold ministries or people who have a call on their life to the fivefold ministries or people just who want to know how to minister, uh, not just only in the church but everywhere, who move, who want to move in the prophetic and know how to deliver it properly and know how to pray and bring forth a prayer and stuff like that. So I want to cover literally a bunch of things related to ministry, related to the realm of the Holy Ghost, related to the connection between God and you and you and the people. Hallelujah. So that will be a five hours, please, from three to eight. I use it those five hours. If you can make the time, you will be blessed and you will be prepared and be ready to be used in this season like nothing. All right? So make the time and come forth for that. I love you. May the Lord bless you richly, and I will see you very soon. Remember, it is Saturday, the 20th from 3 to 8 at Cross Point at the church. God bless you. Bye now.